Yeah, like this is good, see? Alrighty, good morning, good morning, good morning. Which in Polish is? Who remembers? That would be good evening, it's good too. Dzień dobry! Dzień dobry, my friends. Today is a special day for me, for me. Because it is? Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day in Poland. Yeah, it's 26th of May. It's always on 26th of May. I already called my mom uh, and I asked my kids if we can make it special somehow. We'll figure out what we do. Well, Isabella has a birthday party today. I need to go. I need to go shopping right now because I want to make some uh, pasta chiki with meat for my uh, sunshine. So I hope they will like it. Yeah. And right now we are just about to go and uh, uh, drop the kiddos at school. Yeah. But it is raining it's not really raining but raining like we don't know what's the weather what's up with the weather hey it's so funny i put the lights here and then i cannot see if it's recording Alrighty, so we just wanted to say good morning and um, hopefully we'll uh, have something nice more to do and someone will wake up someone needs a coffee all righty see you guys later bye bye <laughs>got back home I, uh, I didn't buy anything I bought <laughs> I bought uh, soil for Dorica because she's gardening I'm I really I told you guys me and garden mm -mm. I enjoy it when I look at it but I can't do anything about it but I could pick up the soil so I went I picked up uh, four uh, five bags of soil and uh, at no frills they had uh, like a, a gardenia I think it's called the flowers don't know much but they were for one dollar and everyone was getting them so I picked up two. Dorika said I should have picked up more, but I didn't know. I really don't know much. So I picked up this, which was not on the list. Well, oh, there was no list. I was just supposed to pick up puff pastry, which I did, and I have it here. And I will be testing later on. Yeah, the puff pastry. I'll be later testing uh, my idea of quick, um, uh, quick pasta chiki. So I made a feeling yesterday from uh, the chicken breast from the can from Costco which I really like to be honest and then I fried a little bit of onion and then I mixed it in my little food processor so that and I checked it and I added a little bit of chicken stock I tried it it was delicious and that's my stuffing for pasta chicken right now if I have puff pastry and I did buy I told you guys and I'll show you later the special press to make uh, well, it's for ravioli, but really works for everything. And I was thinking pasta chiki like this would look very nice. So basically you don't have to, you roll out the, the, the puff pastry a tiny bit, then you put it on top of this press, then you put, I'll show you everything when I'm doing it. And I think it's going to be like five minutes and the job is done. So that would be the fastest pasta chiki ever. Obviously I will be making the one with mushrooms as well and stuff and you can do the whole full deal and stuff. But if you want to make something delicious very quickly, hey, I just found a way. Well, we'll find out, we'll see. And then we'll make a taste test, taste, taste test because I want my, both of my kids like it. So. I have the stuffing ready in the fridge. I just bought the puff pastry and we'll test it when they come back home. Maybe evening, I don't know, because you see guys, so it's right now a quarter past 10, I need to make myself coffee. I did call my mom already because I was wishing her happy Mother's Day, but at um, 
at uh, 5.45 in the afternoon, Isabella has a birthday party for which I didn't buy the present yet, so I need to go and pick up a present. And I don't know, it's quarter past 10, so I don't think I have time before lunchtime, or do I? Or I should go after lunchtime. But if I go after lunchtime, then I will not have when I will make the pasta chicken. So I'm trying to, to make my timeline right. I think right now I'll have a coffee and relax. Then I'll go to lunch at 12. After lunch, I'll go to uh, Walmart to pick up the present. And then, uh, and then I come back home and then I pick up the kids. And after I pick up the kids, I'll try to make the pasta chicken so they can eat it. And I should have enough time before 5.45 when I go to birthday party with Isabella. That's the plan. We went to school, did I tell you guys? We went to school to visit Isabella and I didn't realize, I thought we are just going to look through her work but no, first it was a show and they were singing and they were uh, uh, saying some verses some, some, some uh, everyone had some sentences to say and everything about Canada because it's 150 years of Canada and it was all whole celebration, it was amazing, I liked it so much and then we also got uh, uh, her uh, portfolio because she's a, a SK now you guys she goes grade one next year um, so her JK and SK her teacher is amazing by the way and uh, that's why we have uh, we have uh, her whole work there and uh, I'm pretty sure she will want to show you guys some of the stuff so we'll we'll see but I'll uh, make you pick here see she has pictures with her work and then what she likes and her work like see what they do it's very nice and it, this this way we can keep it you know you don't lose it and you have something to uh, to enjoy when we gray and old <laughs> anyhow I will go now I will have a coffee relax a little bit and I will see you guys later Hello, hello my friend. So I'm after lunch going to Walmart right now. Gonna pick up a present uh, for the party for later on. But I have a little bit more happening today because my dear friend Andra, she needs to go for uh, more doctor stuff. Anyhow, I'm not going to be getting into details about that, but uh, the girls will come over. And uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm hoping, uh, hold on, uh, that, 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 uh, that I, I'm not hoping the kids are going to be happy, happy for sure but I have a window open because it's really hot and the wind is going and blowing my hair the weather though I don't know if you guys saw while driving how the sky looks like but look at this so now let's take a guess is it going to rain or not <laughs> it looks a little bit stormy anyhow going Walmart quick quick then I'm going to be home I'm going to probably see you guys when I'm trying my uh, thingy for pasta chiki and we'll see how how that works right now shopping time but not a big one yeah again I just need the present for the for the party and uh, maybe my milk if they have it on sale I'll have a look alrighty you guys See you later! So my dear friend, they just called me from the school telling me that Sebastian fell into the pond. He's okay, but soaking wet. Not sure what exactly happened. Sorry, I'm just finishing my tea. Uh, not sure what exactly happened, but I'm pa I packed up his clothes to change and I'm going to... I'm guessing I'm going to pick them up earlier and then just go quick quick and pick up Laura, I guess. So because I keep driving here and there, it's 5 to 3. They are finishing at 3.30. Before I'm there, it's going to be 10 past 3 for 15 minutes or I will just hang around there 
and wait, well, maybe this, okay, anyhow, we'll find out, Sebastian will tell us what happened later on, but yeah, let me go. <laughs> Already, so we back from the party. Um, Isabella, did you like the party? Yeah. Party. Oh, well, we still need to ask Sebastian to tell you the story with him falling into the pond. He's okay though. He was soaking wet. He had to change. And then, uh, yeah. He fell in the pond. He 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 was running. Yeah. Yeah, and he and he, and he didn't fall in the pond. No. He fell in the puddle of water. Okay, but he was soaking wet, right? Mm. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's what was happening, but uh, it was interesting. So I, I went with all the clothes and he changed and then he asked if he can stay. I wanted to pick them up earlier because it was like three, I didn't know what to do, but he, they were um, saying goodbye to a student teacher and he said, can he stay till the end? And I said, okay, so I just hang around the, uh, the, the school there waiting for them. So that's it right now. We back home. It is eight. So it's a little bit late, but I don't care. I'm going to make an attempt. Oh, Sebastian, yeah, you tell us how you fell in the pond. Because they called me, they called me, and they said, Sebastian fell into the pond. It's not a pond. That, that's what she said, in a pond. And he's soaking wet. So what exactly happened? You tell us. I was running, and the grass was slippery from the three days of rain, I think. Okay. And I slipped, so I was like this and I was running and I passed by the grass and I went like this into the pond but he's okay as you guys can see yeah, like he's okay he was just wet and that's why I was all wet here here not <sighs> so yeah so that's what that's what was that's what was happening so you good yeah. are you hungry no because I'll try to make the pasta chiki a la pierogi kind of thingy about right now which will take long because they have to bake for 20 minutes and I didn't even start. Yeah, but not really. Yeah, but probably when they're ready, I will. Yeah, because that's probably an hour, I would say. Yeah? Which is late today. Alrighty. So that's what it is. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using. So that's what it is. Bye. Jumbo. Bye. <laughs> Jumbo ravioli maker. Yeah? It looks like this. And uh, yeah, I think it's the right size and I think it will make it easier. So we will attempt to do that together. And for the first time I will be using my tripod, actually putting my camera. We'll see how that will work as well. Alrighty, you guys. So let me try to do that because I'm really, really curious about that. And I do need some music. Maestro, music please, now.
hello hello so as you probably saw you guys the pasta chiki came out amazing and it was so simple so tada oh come on focus aha yeah so looks amazing i would say and uh, and so from one roll of puff pastry i came out with well, 10 yeah because it was one roll i used one roll for 10 pasta chiki so from the whole pack i would be getting 20 uh pasta chiki i did only the meat one right now but i could have done with the cabbage i have because i could have done with the um apple butter and then they are uh, sweet which would also be nice but it's so easy instead of cutting little circles and then it's it's just so much easier I love it so I'm very happy and uh, yeah I will make uh, kids try them in the, in a moment I think because it is uh, nine so I am I'm a little bit late and I made myself tea I got um, I got off Amazon some detoxifying tea so basically what I heard because of my low carb diet and very high fat, well, I'm not that high fat, I'm actually moderate. I'm kind of like moderate with the protein and, uh, and fat, I'm kind of playing around. I'm just low carb for sure. The rest I'm kind of playing around. But still, I wanna make sure that my gallbladder is okay. And I heard that it's good, actually from one of you. Uh, milk thistle right so i bought myself detoxify me they had a set they are two of those and uh, one of the teas the taste this one which i had before it's more minty kind of and this one which i made right now it's a very kind of caramelly one so let me tell you what it is so they are two boxes of teas i got yeah like this one says that's my friend sending me a message. Uh, one says detoxify me and the other one says lean and clean. Now the lean and clean has uh, Garcinia fruit, Senna, milk thistle, dandelion root, okay, Gaiusa, nettles, yerba mate, oh my gosh, I'm sorry if I'm killing the names, Purex, licorice root, yarrow, roast fish, lemongrass, and uh, some organic flavoring ingredients. That's what they say on this one. And that's the one I uh, like more. And which one was the... And this one has dandelion leaf and root, senna, sarsaparilla, burdock, milk thistle, ginger, cinnamon, nettles, alpha, oh my goodness, alfalfa, alpha, fennel, plantain, red clover, and uh, organic, yes. So I think this one tastes more like caramel. I like both, but this one, it's more like a dessert. I added a tiny bit of my caramel syrup to it, and it is amazing. So we'll see, because, uh, you know, uh, it's always good, and I love my tea, so uh, that's, a, that's a new addition. And uh, yeah, I bought myself last time the strawberry one, so I might have still the strawberry one. And I bought for uh, Kathleen, uh, because I don't have problem with sleeping, but he does a tiny bit, Nighty Night uh, Valerian Naturally Caffeine Free Herbal Tea, Nighttime Sleep, traditionally, uh, traditionally used in herbal medicine. Yes, and it is organic. Yeah, so. Uh, that was tea talk, that was pasta chiki talk, and it is uh, evening already, so I will probably see you guys uh, with kids for a tiny bit of a Polish lesson and closing the vlog. So, uh, yeah, Friday is almost over. I'm tired, I'm tired because I told you guys about the tooth problem with Isa. She's not sleeping well, and uh, she was crying at night. She doesn't wake up, but she wakes me up. So I woke up few times during the night and I am tired so it is nine and I'm ready to go to sleep but I can't just yet but I might try <laughs> well I'm definitely seeing you for closing the vlog and uh, I will enjoy my tea right now see you guys later
all blenders. Ah. Mm. Red? No, it's pasteczki. Mm. With the stuffing from pierogi. If you get to the stuffing. Okay. Normally, you eat them with apple sweet, but because you don't eat the mushroom ones, right? Oh, I, I taste it now. The meat? Uh-huh. Oh, that's amazing. I'm trying to figure out because that's the easy way out from pierogi. But still, pierogi better? Pierogi better no, always. Better. Oh, even naleśniki are better than this? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. In the middle. In the middle? What do you mean? Oh, uh, naleśniki is in the middle of this. So, pierogi are the first, naleśniki are the second, and this would be the third. Yeah. Okay, so no easy way out. So, what do you think? You tell me. Very good. But now. If you are having this between pierogi and naleśniki, because the stuffing is the same, which one you like the most? This. This you like the most. Sebastian likes pierogi the most. Alrighty. So, testing, testing. Uh, should I leave you some more? I'm coming. Hello, everyone. At this time of the day, we're having a Polish lesson today. Yay! With Isa. Mommy. Yeah, mommy. Mommy is hiding here. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and jelly. Jelly, yeah, that's a new. Um, Bini Boo. Bini Boo? Oh, yeah, Bini Boo. I did not know what Bini Boo is. It's, it's the and little And today stuff we're going to be doing. Is Unia, can you let us have a yeah. Polish lesson? Yes. And today it's going to be about electronics. Which is electronics. Electronica. <gasps> but it would be if we would say like electronics, urządzenia elektroniczne. Urządzenia elektroniczne. Urządzenia elektroniczne. Elektroniczne. Sebastian, you try to say? Urządzenia. Urządzenia elektroniczne. Good job. Okay. I can't say that. Next is camera. Can see Sebastian. Camera, which is camera. Mm -hmm. Um, tele uh, a telephone, which is telephone. Mm -hmm. um, the computer, which is computer. 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 What is computer? What it's a it's a form in a grammatical form. On the computer, you would say na komputerze. Mm, I'm playing on the computer, gram na komputerze. Okay, and sentence of the day? Danie. Gram na komputerze. <laughs> Which Danie in Polish dnia. is? Zdanie dnia. Awesome. Graham. Gram. Gram. Na. Na komputerze. Na komputerze. Good job. Okay, you guys, <laughs> thank you so thank much you for so watching, much. okay? If you like... enjoyed, give a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe. You need to have a head. Okay, <laughs> No, okay. again, no head. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you on board. Let's see. Do you want to watch any other Bye. 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 Bye.